This is a video recording of the presentation on the photovoltaic design and installation new course being to be conducted at the BCC. Now, there's quite a bit of detail in the slide, so what you should do if you want further details, just pause the slide and pause the video and you can read the information. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through what the photovoltaic design and installation is all about. Well, first of all, I'm going to give you an overview of the program. There are several courses. The program spans over three semesters. And in semester one, you're going to do AutoCAD drawing, um, mathematics for electricians, electrical engineering, PV1 and lab. In semester two, we're going to do photovoltaic design and installation one and lab. We're going to do electrical engineering, PV2 and lab and mathematics one. And then in semester three, we're going to do photovoltaic design and installation two and lab and English and communic communication. All right. Now, the main courses, therefore, are the photovoltaic design and installation, electrical engineering uh, for PV1 and electrical engineering for PV2. Now, the supporting courses are mathematics, English and communication and AutoCAD drawing. Here um, are the course objectives for the PV DI100, which is photovoltaic design and, and installation one and lab. Course objectives, at the end of this course, students should be able to define terms and concepts related to photovoltaic uh, components, identify the components of a photovoltaic module and PV technologies that are currently on the market, Apply an understanding of the impact of the sun on solar pho photovoltaic systems and its placement during installation. Recognize the factors affecting PV performance and from this formulate actions towards maximizing power output. Identify the major components of a PV system and the configurations involved. Interpret technical documentation related to photovoltaic system design and use the information in accurate installation of um, PV systems. And seven, apply safety factors when installing so solar photovoltaic cells. So you can always pause the video and, and, and take your time to read through these. Now, PVDI 101, electrical engineering, PV1 and lab. This, these are, um, this, this course would give you some fundamentals behind um, electrical engineering that would apply to PV. Course objectives, at the end of this course, students should be able to one, Demonstrate an understanding of the terms and concepts associated with electricity used in electrical engineering field. Two, apply the concept of atomic structure and how atomic uh, uh, arrangements determine the electrical properties of a substance. Three, use the electron configuration of atoms to explain the properties of metals, semiconductors, and insulators. Four, apply the acquired knowledge using Ohm's and Kirchhoff's law to solve problems involved in circuit analysis. And five, develop the necessary skills for carrying out laboratory exercises forced focus on DC circuit analysis. So again, you can pause the video and go through these. PV DI 102, electrical engineering, PV2 and lab. Course objectives. At the end of this course, the students should be able to one, explain the key concepts in the electrical engineering field as it relates to the installation of photovoltaic systems. Apply the theory of AC to the installation of PV systems. Identify the components Identify components for the IV, that's current voltage characteristics of a circuit, the element utilized in PV systems. State the electrical installation principles as it relates to the installation of PV systems. State the characteristics and applications of the following special diodes in, in the installation of PV systems. And uh, the, these, the, the, these special diodes will be listed, sorry, they're not listed here, they'll be listed in, in the course um, detailed syllabus. Six, explain how diodes are used for rectification circuits in, a, in the PV system. Seven, use tools relevant to specific installation of PV systems. Eight, use catches to complete installations of PV systems. Nine, install various photovoltaic components according to occupational health and safety principles. And 10, follow safe work practices in the installation of PV systems. Here are a few photos showing PV students at work. Here, students are taking recorded PV parameters. On the left, 
the recorded information of the, the modules and on the right the recorded information of the inverter. This one in this photo they are checking the angle of slope of the module. Remember that modules must be at the correct angle at an optimal angle for best performance.